Welcome to my week 10 battle of the VDL. This week, the Indianapolis Infernapes are taking on that one guy, coach of the Michigan Manetrix. That one guy is a really good friend of mine, and no matter what happens this battle, I don't make playoffs, but it will affect the top placements if I do win or not, so I have to try my best here. Plus, I really want to beat him. So let's take a look at the teams, and let's get into the battle. So my opponent's team is Skeledurge, Ogre Pond, Hearthflame, Cinderace, Volcarona, Rotom Heat, Tauros, Paldea, Blaze Form, Mega Houndoom, Typhlosion, Talonflame, Torkoal, and Turtonator. I'm really worried about sun mixed with that ogre pond that does a ton of damage not really worried about the skeledurge i really doubt that that comes and we might see an appearance from mega houndoom this week since it resists the dark moves first thing i had to bring was sableye with a damp rock i want to try to get rid of that sun and set up my own rain i actually have quite a few pokemon that abuse rain uh greninja samurott and quillfish all really like rain so this is a great set uh we're running recover and taunt recover to just get health back be able to set rain in the future taunt to stop anything uh like healing from volcarona if Cinderace tries to like court change my hazards away or, or just anything like that. And then knockoffs just to get rid of items. Fizz dev so we can hopefully take a hit from the Cinderace or the Ogre Pond. Next up we have Lumberry Ting Lu with Mean Look. So the plan here is to trap that Torkoal really early on. Whether it's like a lead matchup or just earlier-ish in the game. I want to trap it with Mean Look and then I can 2 it KO a max HP max defense Torkoal with Earthquake 96 or 98% of the time. And I have the Lumberry just in case it runs Will-O-Wisp. My last move is Rock Slide and that's just to hit uh, like the Volcarona, the Rotom, or the Talonflame, and then Stealth Rocks are there just to get residual chip damage, even though I assume most of this team is going to be heavy duty boots. Next up, we have Greninja. With Choice Specs, this KOs everything in the rain, even Ogre Pond. Water Shuriken is there just in case something gets set up, like the Ogre Pond gets a couple speed boosts, and I just need some priority. U turn to switch out, and then Spikes just for a little bit more chip damage. But like I said, I'm assuming heavy duty boots, so it's just kind of like a last slot. There was nothing else that I really found necessary. Next up, I have Choice Scarf, Hisui, and Samurott. This again in the rain just does so much damage with Aqua Cutter. And I wanted to get as many Pokemon that took advantage of rain as possible, so this was just another one. And it was a bit slow, so that's why I put the Choice Scarf on there. Aqua Jet, just because I'm still salty about that game with Tom, where I didn't bring Aqua Jet. Ceaseless Edge, just in case I want to get up some spikes and then flip turn to switch out. I'm really excited for this one. We're bringing Swift Swim Quillfish, so this will actually outspeed Ogre Pond at plus one if the rain is up. And Liquidation does a ton of damage. Poison Jab is there specifically for the Ogre Pond, it just does a bit more damage since it's actually weak to that. And then Crunch, just on the off chance that. That, uh, like sun comes up and I need to click that or if the skeleton god forbid comes and then just have an email light just for like that extra bulk so that we can hopefully get a sword to dance up in front of something last but not least I have King Gambit with sucker punch knockoff brick break just in case that Rotom brings screens and for the mega houndoom and then swords dance with the Akaberry so we can hopefully take a move I was gonna put a little bit of speed investment in this to outspeed skeleton but I'm just so certain that that thing's not coming so I'm not too worried about it if you enjoyed season two of the VDL please drop a like subscribe this is going to be the end of my season you will not see any more battles for me for season two with that though season three applications just dropped on my discord server so if you want to be a part of season three please join the discord linked in the description and in the announcements tabs you will see the applications they close december 31st we are looking for 36 coaches but yeah let's hop into the battle okay here we are with the battle my opponent brings talonflame torkoal cinderace ogre pond mega houndoom which i was kind of expecting to come and then the volcarona i think i'm still gonna lead ting lu on the torkoal i really don't see another lead option the only scary thing would probably be the ogre pond which i don't see that leading without sun it's like not much of a threat because i could always go quillfish which he might think has intimidate yeah i'm gonna lead ting lu here we actually see the talon flame lead this might u-turn out turn one could also will-o-wisp i can go for a rock slide here there's really no harm in that i don't need a mean look i don't need to set up my rocks at all and this doesn't do much damage to me so i'm gonna click rock slide here he actually misses the will-o-wisp which is huge it wouldn't have mattered this first turn because i have the lumberry but it would ultimately matter later on in the battle. Okay, so we see the Torkoal come out here, and I'm immediately going to mean look this, even though it's probably going to try to um, burn me, and it actually doesn't. It sets up Stealth Rocks, which is even better, because now this thing's trapped in, and the sun is going to be gone, and I cannot be burned. So I just click Earthquake twice, and I knock this out. Oh, and we crit. Oh my goodness. I am haxing this dude to death. I, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. This... <laughs> This is so bad. I shouldn't be doing this. I don't deserve this. I... <laughs> No. All right, Ogre Pond comes out here. I think I just let Ting Lu go down. It's it's done its job. It dodged a Will-O-Wisp and it crit an Earthquake. I can let this go down here to hopefully go Sableye and then set up my Rain Dance and just kind of win at this point. Quillfish just goes absolutely crazy. So I'm just going to Earthquake here. It does a little, like a very, very hair less than uh, Rock Slide, but I'd rather just be accurate. 
and they actually go for the trailblaze here cool thing is they can't go for two. Oh my god i crit again what the fuck why did i just crit three turns in a row what is going on ting lu holy shit i feel so bad i feel like actually awful because this is like i get i get an a 15% miss and then I get like two I think crits are like 12% maybe even 6% chances I get two of those like that is just absolutely horrible he does not deserve this at all Cinderace comes out here and I mean I tried to sack this Ting Lu once I'm gonna try to sack it again I I honestly am scared for him to click pyro ball or high jump kick here because I just I have a, an inkling of a feeling he might miss it but we're gonna click earthquake here um did this go for like endure why did it go counter that's heat okay I can now go Sableye here and just get up my reign like guaranteed I I no longer have to worry about the sun and I get eight turns of it since I'm damp rock which is legal the only way damp rock heat rock all those rocks weren't legal was if you use them on pokemon that automatically set up weather since sableye doesn't do that we're safe all right greninja outspeeds like the entire team and i don't think it dies to anything here so i'm gonna go greninja here and i'm pretty sure i can just click surf three times and uh wrap this game up here which i feel horrible this this should not have happened this way the, the crits were just crazy all right one surf from greninja knocks this out and like i said unless it's like well it's not a uh, choice scarf because we saw focus ash so i think that's uh gg here this looks like it goes down to surf gg tog i'm i'm so sorry man um the the miss was one thing but but the two crits were were a totally different situation oh man all right that is the end of our season i mean i'm kind of glad to to wrap it up on a win but i i just don't think i really wanted to win that way um i, I had this whole strategy cooked up of with quillfish and swift swim and just didn't need it this is a really quick one like quickest battle i ever had so um yeah if you enjoyed drop a like make sure you check out season three of the vdl check out season four of the pdl which i've been posting on my channel if you haven't seen that already and yeah thank you for the support i'll see you later peace